One by one, these insects will fall prey to the remarkable predatory antics of carnivorous plants. Around the world, there are more than 600 plant species that supplement a regular diet of sunlight, water and soil with insects, microbes or even frogs and rats. This flesh-eating adaptation holds a major benefit for plants. Carnivorous plants tend to grow in places with highly acidic soil which is poor in crucial nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. In these hostile conditions, plants that are able to lure, trap and digest prey have an advantage over those that rely completely on soil for the nutrients. Meanwhile, this beetle is bewitched by sweet-smelling nectar. The scent draws him closer and closer until he lands on the leaves of the most infamous carnivorous plant. His landing triggers tiny hairs on the surface of the leaves and the jaws of the Venus flytrap snaps shut around him. The spikes interlock to seal his fate. Once closed, the leaves act like an external stomach that digest the beetle's soft tissues. A tadpole unwittingly swims into the path of the bladder wart the speediest of all the carnivorous plants. She treads on the bladder oats trigger and in milliseconds a trap door swings open and sucks her in. Trapped half in and half out, she struggles to free herself while the part of her body inside the plant gets digested. Over the next few hours, her rhythm sets the trap off repeatedly, each time bringing her deeper into the plant to be digested alive bit by bit. Take this inhospitable bog where pitcher plants reign supreme. Drawn to the pitcher's vivid colors and alluring scent, the fly closes in and slurps its nectar. But this pitcher species has an ingredient called conine in its nectar, a powerful narcotic to insects. As the conine slowly takes effect, the fly grows sluggish and stumbles down into the funnel into a pool of liquid in its base where he drowns. Enzymes and bacteria in the liquid slowly break his body down into microscopic particles the pitcher plant can consume through its leaves. Occasionally, larger prey also tumbles into the fatal funnel of the pitcher plant. The next target meets his end underground in the coils of the corkscrew plant. He enters the root through a tiny slit in search of food, but inside he loses his way through the tangled labyrinth. A forest of curved hairs prevents his escape, guiding him into a central chamber with flesh digesting enzymes and deadly low levels of oxygen. While carnivorous plants may be the bullies of the plant world, they are also incredibly interesting, both from an evolutionary survival perspective as well as from an entertainment perspective.